Hello Virgos. So this is your weekly reading. I'm going to start with the tarot. A okay, universe is the current energy between Virgos and the person that's on Virgo line. Universe is the current energy. So you guys got the Queen of Cups, Knight of Wands, Seven of Wands, Death card, Ace of Pentacles, New Money. Pisces had a um, New Money vibes too. You guys have similar energy here. It's coming through fast. Okay, universe, the person that's on Virgo mind would like to say to Virgo. Ace of Swords. So this person want to speak to you. Um, so I'm getting a lot of serious business type of energy. So some of you guys want to meet someone who is an entrepreneur. Okay, they work in finance. They work in um, management. Let's see what else getting. Universe, the person that's on Virgo mind. What are they keeping hidden from Virgo? Page of Cups universe. This is someone who do not play games. <laughs> Okay, I feel like this is someone who wants some things real with you. I'm trying to see if you just want this person or are you going to meet this person? Let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, the person that's on Virgo mind, how do they feel about Virgo? The devil, wow, this is someone who could be controlling. They definitely have a type A personality. Four of Wands, Eight of Wands, King of Pentacles. This person feel like... You belong to them, <laughs> okay? Universe, the person that's on Virgo mind. What is their true feelings for Virgo? Okay, you guys got the Ace of Cups. This is a new person. Three of Wands, Emperor. Wow, this is someone who's really successful about their business, but they're controlling. I do see that. <laughs> but this person see your value with that Four of Pentacles. This Taurus energy, Taurus world, Venus. Okay, Venus is all about value, self-worth, money, beauty, love. Okay, so they definitely see all that in you. Universe, the person that's on Virgo mind, what is their intentions with Virgo? Knight of Swords, Three of Cups. And they, their intention this week is to take you out on a date. Okay, they're going to really try to impress you. They're going to be very alpha-like. Alpha-like type E personality. Okay. Universe, the person that's on Virgo mind, what actions will they take with Virgo? The sun. I feel like they're going to be treating you right, okay? They're going to be treating you right. Probably you guys ended something with someone else for good, and you are connecting with someone who's serious, who wants to be in a, a, a long-term relationship with you, a monogamous, committed relationship with you, okay? Um, yeah, you manifested this, and it's because of you knowing who you are and Removing yourself from anything that was holding you back, that was not actually aligned to you. So the signs, I'm getting heavy Capricorn energy, Aries, okay? Um, there is some Scorpio too, there is some Leo. like here okay universe we have four cards but the messages you have for virgo is that codependency and you are beginning to realize who you are you may feel like you attract a lot of broken people okay that tends to happen when you are um an empath when you are a healer but that's not your responsibility to heal everybody they gotta first heal themselves Clear vision, you're right. Sagittarius, the sun. I feel like you guys are tapping into your spiritual healing gifts, okay? Yep, look at that. Spiritual healing gift. So you guys are opening a spiritual, holistic um, business. Yes, or some of you guys are just um, into the more naturopathic type of way. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Um, it could be like you guys wanting to... Yeah, like some of you guys are into, um, what's that thing, clonotics. So you want to do a business relating to that, like the natural way of um, eliminating toxins out of your body. Okay. Yeah, that's insane. And, or some of you guys are just into the raw veganism or Dr. Sebi, okay, at this moment. Rest and rejuvenate. Yeah, so I feel like this is good. I feel like you guys are really healing on a mental level a spiritual level and also physically too so and you like you're you're gonna be healing others too at the same time it could just be you just starting with your social circle and 
your other um, friends, family members is going to be inspired by you. Okay. So universe, give me a three card spread. Who wants to just be hot for Virgo? Love. Okay. So I feel like you guys are embracing love. Okay. You being patient. And then there is friendship. And then honesty. So I like how the reading just turned around where it was more focused on. Because those spreads typically focus on love interest. But when I'm doing the other spread, it's focusing on you. So I feel like a lot of you guys are really focusing on you. Okay. Um, you being honest with yourself. That's not hard <laughs> for Virgos. But you being honest with yourself. You're appreciating you for you as well. And having great friends around you. So let's look at what they would like to say. Okay, universe, give me a three cards, but the person that's on Virgo mind, we like to say to Virgo. Empathy, love, ooh, okay. So yeah, I feel like the more you guys get closer together, be in a relationship, I feel like this person is really going to be appreciating you, okay? They are, look at that discipline. They're going to feel like you guys are meant to be, like, they supposed to be your husband, okay? That's how they're going to feel. <laughs> or your wife. Let's look here. Okay, universe, give me a four card spread. I'm going to just see how for Virgos. Seven of Cups, four of Wands. Some of you guys, again, was just dating. You was not really into, like, trying to find your person. But you did. You found them. <laughs> Conflict and defeat. Three of Swords, emotional withdrawal. You let someone from the past go completely energetically. You severed those soul ties. Okay. You see that situation was not never for you. Okay, that's not what the universe wants. Okay, that was definitely not what was best for you too. So let's look what else I'm getting for you guys. All right, universe, give me a four card spread. Let's just see you have four Pisces. So lover, yep. It's a Pisces, could be a Virgo. I mean, I said could be a Virgo. You're a Virgo. <laughs> could be a Pisces, okay? Um, but yeah, this is someone who's going to be your lover, okay? Uh, look at that healer. Wow, look at that. Look at that Virgo. What? So you guys are going to have a... Um, yeah, you guys are going to have a child, okay? I want to say miracle child for some reason. Um, but yeah, you guys, I love this. Okay. So continue to be in this energy because this is what you're attracting. You're attracting the one for you. Okay. Um, and you guys are not doing this purposely to be like attracting the one you just are just living your life. Right. Okay. So let's see what else I'm getting. Okay. Universe, give me a four card spread. What message do you have for Virgos? Universe, give me a four card spread. No need to worry. Universe, give me three cards. Ask help from others. Trust and get more information. And you're ready. Yeah, so this could be you, again, showcasing your gift, your healing gift, okay? Um, probably would get more information. Some of you guys are writing a book too, okay? Um, so with the get more information, it's more so finding the right um, publishing company, um, finding the right marketing company as well, seeing like who's actually going to take your vision to that next level. Okay. So the universe do want you to um, research, scout around to see which company, which team that you should um, actually connect and work with. Okay. Um, but the universe is loving how you are trusting in the process um, and you are listening to your own intuition too. So let's see what else I'm getting for you guys. Okay, universe, give me a two card spread. What messages do you have for Virgos? So in awakeness, yep. I feel like this is you awakening to your gift and your highest potential. Okay, universe, give me one more card. What message do you have for Virgos? Age's beauty. 
Jenna energy is following my truth. This is following your purpose, okay? And it's kind of remind me of Virgin Mary, okay? And she's a Virgo, okay? So, um, believing in and following my inner truth helps me live an authentic and empowered life. Then there is inner awakeness. I'm completely awake and tuned to my truth, clarity, and inner wisdom. And then ages beauty with grace, dignity, and strength. I grow into the unique texture of my feminine soul. Okay. So that's the reading that I have for you, Virgos. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal reading with me at queenfortheterrell at gmail.com.